What's going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new light from GVM. This is a COB light and it is a compact 80 watt power COB light. This is the P80S Mark II and we're going to be taking a look at it. We're going to see what it comes with, talk about the features, the specs. This also comes with a softbox and some grids and you guys are seeing it right now being used. I have another one set on a C stand with the softbox and the grids. So you guys are already seeing how good and how well it performs uh, right now. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below already but we're going to be taking a look at this i'm gonna have everything linked down in the description below and we're going to be messing with the one pack and the two pack and see how it overall performs so now taking a look at what we get in the box we got a tripod for the light we got a wall outlet cable the power brick the pads cob light itself the quick start guide and some other documents the bowens mount for the softbox light and in the carrying bag for the softbox we have the rods the grid the inner and outer diffusion, and finally the frame itself. Now to set up the softbox, we need to insert each rod into a slot underneath the velcro on the frame to hold it in place. You gotta do it on all seven sides. Next, you'll want to insert each rod into the Bowens mount, and while you're doing that, you'll need to push down into the softbox. There will be some resistance, but you will start to see the softbox creating its shape. Once that's all set, you can start to add the inner diffusion by just using the hooks and they just clip in place. After that, you start to add the outer diffusion by using the Velcro. Leave some space of the Velcro for the grids. Once that's all set, you can start to add the grids by doing the same thing. After that, you are all set. To remove the light from the softbox, it's very easy. There's a little lever on top. Just pull it and twist the bones mount and it just comes right off. Taking a look at the light, it's very simple. The build quality is decent. The outer shell is an ABS plastic, but it still feels pretty durable. And an aluminum alloy for the heat sink. It has a Bowens mount and a handle on the back for easy portability. The light, like I said, is very simple. It's not a bi-color light, so you can't change the color temperature, unfortunately. So that light just stays at daylight, so it's 5600 Kelvin. The light's quality is very nice, having a CRI rating of 97+, plus, so it's very true to color. On the back, you have just the power port and the brightness dial, and the light itself is pretty powerful. Going from 0 to 100%, you can see how intense it is. And the light has Bluetooth, so you can download the GVM2 app and connect directly to the light and control the brightness and even turn the light on and off. Now let's do some lighting tests. The first one we got is with just a GVM light with no diffuser on it hitting directly on me. The light was at 50%, but it was still blinding me, and you can see the harsh shadows around my glasses and around my neck, and it doesn't look that good overall. Next, we have the GVM light with the diffuser on it, only having the inner diffuser, and immediately you can see a difference. The light stayed at 50% brightness, but you get a much softer shadow around my glasses and the neck area, and also there is less light bleeding onto the background, focusing more on the subject, which is myself, and it creates more of that cinematic look separating the foreground from the background. Now this next shot is with both the inner and outer diffuser on the softbox and this gives off a very minor difference compared to the last one. You see a bit of a difference in the shadows and background but I will mention that the light was set to 90% brightness in order to be perfectly exposed and that's of course because of it going through two layers of diffusion so you will need to have the light a bit brighter for this shot but it wasn't blinding me and it was still soft on the face. And finally, we have the light with the two layers of diffusion and the grid installed, and this gives off the biggest effect. The light is still set to 90% brightness, and I did nothing different to the camera, but the major thing that I noticed is how minimal the light was bleeding onto the background. It just focuses on what's in front and nothing else, and that's of course what a grid is intended for, and it gives off a very moody and cinematic shot. Looking at each scene side by side, you can see how different the diffusers and grids do. And my personal favorite is the one layer of diffusion and the one with the grids because I only need to have the light at 50% brightness and the other one if I want to be more cinematic. But what if I were to add two sets of GVM lights? That's where things get pretty interesting. For this scene, I decided to do the same shot with the first light having the grids on it and having the second light be a hair light behind me to the side and I really like this shot because it gives me a nice edge light and really creates separation from me to the background. You can see how effective it is when I turn off the main light and have the hair light on. There are many different ways that you can use the second light for. You can have it be a fill light as well and with diffusion or no diffusion but I wanted to show you guys one of my personal favorites. 
All right, you guys, so my final thoughts on the GVM P80S Mark II is I really like the lights for the price. Honestly, I really like the color intensity. They're very bright, and I really like the color accuracy, the CRI of 97%. It looks really nice in a daylight 5600 Kelvin. So overall, the brightness and the color and the light itself is really good quality. Now, just to let you guys know, I am using both of the GVM lights set up as an A camera shot, and this is usually how I would have it set up. And you can see at my B cam that I have them both with the soft boxes and the grids, and I have the intensity at 100%. So this is basically how I would have the light set up in a stationary A camera shot. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below as far as this shot goes. This is normally how I would have it set up. Uh, get rid of LED light panels and use COB lights and they are much brighter and they are much more color accurate and they uh, I love the soft boxes as well with the grids. It just creates much more diffusion compared to light panels and getting some other type of diffusion set up. But basically with actual Bowens mount with the the fusion and the grids it really makes a huge difference and it makes the the shadows very nice and soft and because of it having grids it focuses more on me and not so much of the background now a couple things i do want to mention is who are these lights for so the major thing that i want to let you guys know is that these have to be plugged into the wall so there is no way to make them portable there's no way to use sony mpf batteries or canon lp6 batteries to take it with you and and shoot with it and be portable so there's no way for that as well they are not by color, so you can't change the color temperature. They are just daylight. They're 5600 Kelvin. And the build quality itself is pretty cheaply made. It is mainly plastic, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal if you were just going to have them in a studio setup, like how I personally will use it for. But if you were to take them out and about and accidentally drop them, then that is a huge problem right there because plastic, it's definitely going to break. It's definitely going to crack the shell. I don't know about the uh, aluminum part of it, but definitely it'll get damaged. Like I said, it's a very simple light. All you have is power and the dimming capability. That is about it. And you are able to control it with your phone as well. But it's super simple. It's very basic. I would prefer using these lights in a stationary shot, like in a studio, instead of taking it out and about, of course. Now, my major thing that I will say that is a huge con is the soft boxes. This is not portable at all. It is not collapsible to set it up. You just have to set it up and that is it. I don't recommend taking it down because when you start to take it apart and take it down, it takes a lot of time and it's very difficult to like make it portable and to take it with you. So taking apart the rods from the Bowens mount is very difficult because there's a lot of resistance to it. And then on top of that, taking apart the diffusions is a little bit difficult as well because you're really stretching out those two layers of the fusion and the velcro is just holding onto it and taking apart the grids as well so it's not collapsible at all honestly like i said i would not take these with me if i were to set it up in another shot or in another place unless i'm just gonna take it into my car without collapsing it but if you are going to be taking a cob light out and about then i highly recommend getting some collapsible soft boxes because it's super easy to just set up it just takes a few seconds to set it up and then to take it apart it just takes a few seconds as well so i highly recommend those these do not get these are not easy at all to take apart and to put it back together honestly it's very difficult i would highly just recommend using these in a studio setup same thing with the gvm uh, p80s is because one thing is durability is just one is an issue if you were to take it out on the bottom if you were to drop it it's mainly plastic so that's an issue there's no way to power it unless you plug it into a wall or you have like a portable generator or something like that so there's no way to put some external batteries to plug it in or anything like that and then the soft boxes itself are just not portable at all so these lights i would recommend if you're going to be using them in a studio setup if you were just going to be using them in your room or in your studio like what i'm going to be personally doing then this is recommended for you guys but there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the lights down in the comments below. If you guys will personally try these out, if you guys will use them, or if you guys are going to be looking for anything else, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, as well as everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!